got that down. And this last one, just choose eight seconds of it, drag and drop. So what we want to do next is preview this to make sure we got it all right. This is our sequence of videos, starting from left to right, like the way you'd read um, some paragraph. Starting from left to right, all the way over, back to the left, all the way over, back to the left. This is a sequence of your videos. And that's the end of the video. And we can see here the total time is 1 minute 19 seconds. So once you have your videos down, the next thing you want to do is to start cropping and, you know, making your videos in shape. So say this video is too long, 11 seconds. All you do is select the part you don't want and then click delete on your keyboard. And that shrinks this down to 9.5 seconds. Now say you wanted to say you didn't want to delete it, all you do is command Z and there goes your delete portion. It, go, it comes back. Command Z is undo or you can go to edit and undo. So I'll delete that. And let's see anything else is too long that we don't want. Take this portion over here. So you don't want this other portion where it turns into the front view. Just highlight all that and delete. And I think that's pretty good for what I want. And oh, and this was imported twice for some reason. So we can just click this whole clip there and delete that out of the sequence. And now you can see that the total is one minute, three seconds. All right, after that, what we want to do is adding is to add titles and transitions. Now, in order to add titles, you click the titles tab. As you can see here, it says set theme. The theme that we chose is bulletin board, and these are titles relative to the theme we've chosen. So basically, you choose one of these themes, whichever one you prefer for your, for your beginning, for your intro, and you just put it in there. As you can see, these are credits, which means it usually goes in the end, but you can use it at, at the beginning too if you want, depending on what you're going to do. So I'm just going to choose this first one, and all you do for this is select and drag over the clip your first clip. They can drag over all of the clip or over a portion of the clip. Okay, now we're represented with this theme. What iMovie is really good at is combining these kind of effects with real-time footage. So what we're going to name this is My Great Video. And done. That's all it does. iMovie does the font for you, the color, all you do is to type in your content and it's already there. Now let's preview that. Just hit spacebar. And there you go. That might have been too short, so what I want to do is click that at the end. You see this little bar comes up with the two arrows? And drag that. You can drag this to any time you want, three seconds, five seconds. I would say about three seconds. And this is what it looks like. This goes a whole lot slower and then zoom into your clip. You can continue from there. Now all you do is just to add titles where you find them necessary. So say you wanted to add another title here, but not really a title, maybe like a caption. So you go down to where they have captions and each has this category, date, time, ticker, gradient. Um, so usually I'm just going to choose um, Say this torn edge 10 just because it has the most detail for a caption. I'm just going to drag it over a portion of my clip again. And as I said, iMove just does all the graphics for you. you just um, It has the font and the color. Just type in what you need. Say shopping with Elaine at Walmart. Although... They are a monopoly, which is unconstitutional. Eh, it's too long of a caption, isn't it? Yes, we're just going to delete that. Just leave it at Walmart. Ah, uh, there we go. Shopping with Elena at Walmart. And this is what it looks like. Pretty decent. And so basically just go throughout your clip and 
add captions wherever you find necessary, and just explore the different options they have here. One of my favorites is the pull focus. This gives it like this really ambient view. So say I put this over here. I'm putting it over the full clip just because. And say I put um, jumbo jet A363 landing at Newark airport. Uh, just leave it as it is, but if you, want, if you ever want to edit the text in iMovie for titles, you press Command A to select all of it, and go to Show Fonts. You go to, you'll be presented with this, which is the iMovie font panel, which is just a basic option for text and color and size. Um, I'm just going to choose Helvetica New, and I'm going to choose six or five. And basically, this this is the outline. You can have it with or without the outline. I prefer the outline because it makes it look more bold and distinct. And you can choose the spacing just as you would. Now, not all of these titles um, come with um, an option to edit the text, and I'll show you one soon. So I choose Helvetica New. Or if you don't like any of these uh, fonts here or options, you can go to System Font Panel, which basically goes to the, um, the fonts and colors you have in your system. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you click System Font Panel, and it flips over and gives you a whole bunch of fonts. Say, like this um, custom font I have, oops, called Halo, and it gives you like this Halo theme. Um, just gives you all of the fonts you would have on your system that you wouldn't normally have. Say, Tron. Gives me this Tron theme. But basically, yeah, just whatever you want to do there. I mean, just customize it whichever way you like. I'm just going to stick with this for the simplicity of things. and Yeah, just choose that. And click Done. And once you're done with that, you click Done again. And this is basically what it looks like. So let's say we're starting from here. Notice there's no audio for this either, just for those of you who are wondering. This clip has no audio. So going along, this clip comes on with the moon, and then the airplane theme. And you can see that it blurs the background and gives you this text here. This is what iMovie does. It gives you these presets, which should be very hard to do by yourself, but it's just there. It's just a drag and drop ordeal. And there it is. And once it's done, it refocuses. Now, that took a little too long, so what you want to do is trim that out a little bit. So you actually have some footage showing, and then it's blurred with the text, and then you have some footage again. So that's what it looks like. Footage, blurred in text, and the footage again. It's one of my favorite titles. But again, let me show you a title that you can't um that you can't edit the the text or anything. Say for this one over here, for this background, I use soft edge and just drag it over. And type in, oops, whoa, just Command Z, and click the title. Thanks for watching, and click done. This is what it does. It does that? Thanks for watching. But as you can see, oh, you can edit this one. Right, let me just find one. Of the, okay, yeah. So say we choose this, and we're gonna replace it. As a pixie dust, you can't change this pixie dust. You see that? There's no show font, so you can't change this one. So this is what it does. It gives you a pixie dust ending. Alright? So yeah, those just some of them you can't change, but most of them you can. So just explore, look around. This is a Star Wars theme. Very cool one also. So just look around, and you have these credits you have for your theme. Alright. So one, another thing we're going to do here, we're getting to the end here, is your transitions. I mean, so your video's looking nice. I mean, you have your intro with the title, you have your clips, you have your titles and captions and stuff. Pretty nice. But what we do need are some transitions. So what we do is click the Transitions tab, which is here. And again, it gives you trans transitions based on your theme. So let's say 
when it chooses transition theme one. You just drag your mouse over to see what kind of transition it is. Alright, you have all these transitions which you can choose from. It gives you a whole lot to choose from. So you choose whichever one. I'm going to choose this bulletin board four. And again, it's a drag and drop um, pattern here. Just click, drag. Now let's say I want to drop it between here or here. Just drop it in there. And there it is. Now you can see this. This means transition. And it's here for two seconds. And you can see that it transitions pretty nicely. Now if you always want to extend that time, so you click the transition and you can click this little uh, this little wheel here, this blue thing, and you can go to position editor, precision, or you can go to info. And basically you can change this to however long you want, say three seconds. And always in check applies to all transitions because you just really want to edit your video. And click done. And these numbers here show like the, the these are the frames for your transition. Like you can see this is one over here and this is two in your project window. So if you move one over here to the Statue of Liberty, you can see that in transition where one is is the Statue of Liberty. And where two is is Times Square. So that's just the transition. So you click play. And there's your transition. Pretty nice. And so again, you just go back and choose some more transitions. Say, uh, hmm, it's another good one. Another one, cross blur is one of my favorites. And let's say you put it in between the Statue of Liberty and this clip here. And what it does is cross blurs. And that was a little too fast, so we double click that again and make it two seconds say and there you go a little bit slower now there you go and as you can see your clip is starting to become more and more advanced a lot nicer as you go on a lot more advanced and so just add transitions throughout your clips and what's one thing I'm not covering um, say you just want to add plain text without a video you go to your text place and just choose a text and just drag it into an empty spot not on top of any video just an empty spot and iMovie will give you a, a bunch of backgrounds to put your text behind so depending on what you want to choose just choose any random any background that you like say I'm going to choose this um, I'm going to choose this pinstripe so you just click it and then you add your title, custom title one. And that's just between your clips. You can also move this whole thing between your clips somewhere. And that's all you get. It's just a text without a video. You know? One last thing is incorporating photos into a video. All you do is go to your photos tab. And based on your iPhoto library, you can choose photos from the places. So, uh, say I go to California. These pictures I took from California, I can just take one, uh, another preview, and just drag it into my um, storyline. Once I drag it in, there you go. And it automatically adds camera movements or Ken Burns which we'll get into, into in the advanced iMovie section. But for now, we'll just leave it as is. And it's your video and your photo. And it just does that to keep like the video moving, because it'll be pretty weird if you have video moving and all. Everything's all moving, going nice along. And I just like a still photo. So it just moves a little bit there for your, just for the sake of the flow of the video.